Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today we'll be doing a product review guys for a dash camera, dual channel dash camera guys. One for the front, one for the back. Uh, it's one of the best ones in my opinions that I had my hands on guys. It's amazing product, stay with us. We'll explain what it comes with. We'll open the box, we'll inspect everything. We'll put it to the test. We'll install it on a this Ford Mustang GT that we've been building lately. And we'll share some footage at the end. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain what we're talking about. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. As you know guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We teach you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can i want you guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos if you need to buy any parts tools for your car you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below and that's where you can get that camera form we'll share the link as well so let's go ahead and put it to the test now you practically do not need any tools guys but having the trim removal tool will make your life much easier because you will be able to take the cables under the plastic trims on your vehicle so we guys got the long cable and uh, a long cable that goes from the front to the rear it's actually i think it's like six meters uh what we did okay we took it all the way from here we fed it under okay under the headliner around the seals it goes all the way uh, the extra amount of cable we put right here behind the dash it comes all the way from here underneath okay we lifted the trim up and we brought it to the back perfect now uh, the phone cable okay is right here so uh, this one we'll do the same thing we'll start it from the cigarette lighter there and we're going to feed it around the dashboard we'll bring it to that point and bring it to the top again as well uh, so let's see how long this one is we're going to do that, install it, okay, and see how it's going to perform. Uh, you can download the app to connect it uh, wirelessly to your phone. You can check the footage and all that stuff on the phone as well. So, uh, really, really cool features, guys. We need to measure uh, where it needs to be right there. Yeah? That needs to be about the perfect amount. We're going to uh, just apply it under the headliner. That way, it's out of sight. We're going to get a plastic prank too, and we can just gently push it in. Okay, under that headliner. So, we're going to go ahead, do that, then we'll come to the side. We're going to apply right here as well, under the headliner, under the uh, A pure cover. Okay, you can see it's going to come underneath here now, then we'll come to the seal. And all that will be hidden and out of sight. We'll lift that seal up. Okay, check it out careful because sometimes we have airbags underneath on modern vehicles. We have to be extremely careful. And uh, we're going to go ahead, push it in. And just pry the piece a little bit up and push the cable in. Careful not to break the cable as well. All right, perfect. Once you're done with that thing, later you're just going to go ahead and pull your seal out so everything looks nice and natural and you don't have cables sticking out, which makes it super convenient. We're going to go ahead, do it right there behind the dash and bring it to the cigarette lighter. So we're going to remove the protective film from the lens. And uh, here, guys, we're going to install the mount that transfers the power as well. So, okay, perfect. Just push it in click perfect okay we're ready to continue install it inside okay let me come inside the vehicle now here we got the rear camera too all right a little bit of limited room in the mustang here and we're going to go ahead and place it kind of like it needs to be in the middle of the windshield but out of sight here it will not be good for the passenger at all okay so here it looks looks pretty good to me okay something close like that so next we'll just remove the protective film okay right here from the double-sided tape which is by the way a 3m tape this is one of the best quality tapes that i've used personally guys it uh, uh you need to position it where you want it to be we need to apply okay to the windshield now we're going to connect our cables okay this one goes to the top one uh this is the main cable and then the other one is uh, goes to the rear camera so we're going to pull them a little bit okay to uh, give them a little bit more length 
So guys, a quick advice. If you're doing that, connect your car battery, okay, to maybe a battery voltage charger because we had the doors open for a long time and our battery died. So I have the jump starters here, but that's a beautiful engine, by the way. Uh, we'll be having quite a few videos coming on that 5.0 GT. So we're inside now, guys. Okay, let me get in. Uh, we're about to position the rear camera. Okay, I'm going to turn the ignition switch on. We're pulling it in now, it's turning on. The quality of the display is simply amazing, guys. Okay, if I turn the light on, you can see this is the rear camera now. Uh, we can, uh, we need to put it the other, uh, let me see if I re can reverse the picture or we need to install it upside down. Okay, and we can switch between different modes here, okay, as well. So when you go to the settings and you scroll down, you can rotate the front or rear display. We'll click rear, rotate, on. Now, if I go back to the camera mode, okay, that's perfect. And I go to the reverse camera now, we should have the Red Bull here with the open sign on the back. Okay, you can see it's perfect. So we can go ahead. Okay, and now we can just go ahead and install it. Let me turn the light on so you can see. Okay, perfect. Now the display goes to amazing mode guys where you can see your mileage because it's GPS activated, your clock, mileage, date and in the top corner that it's recording. So uh, the settings, under settings, what else you have here, okay, uh, let me show you. You have resolution, video format, video length, exposure, front, rear, microphone, G sensors. Okay, you can adjust the G sensor to low, medium or high. I'll put it on medium. Next, we go to parking surveillance. You can activate it. I'll activate it on. Perfect. Rotate front rear camera, mirror display rear. Time and stamp date. Okay, it's on. You put the time and stamp, model number stamp, GPS stamp. Okay, we can do that one as well. It's on. Speed stamp, all those are already there. So let's go ahead now. Okay, that's the rear camera. We will have now the front and rear in the corner uh, everything is recording in a little bit you can see your speed is in the corner and in a little bit it will go to the gps mode and you have the speed there as well uh, now let's go ahead download the app on the phone connect it and then we will put it to the test now uh, what i did guys okay we downloaded the app uh, let me uh, let me go ahead okay and uh, get it going opening Okay, and this is the app, guys, right here. Uh, it's Masigo, the worldwide WW. We downloaded the latest firmware. But you have the firmware download right here. Connect your smartphone to the internet and download the latest firmware and speed camera data. So you can go ahead, do that. You select your model. Ours is A330D. We select download, alert, ready to download the latest okay firmware version we said download it's downloading uh, you will re you will require internet connection for that but it can easily be done okay and then we go to connect dash camera settings and version okay uh, now uh, let's go ahead okay and show you something else now guys connect dash camera it uh, tells you how to do that so let me show you what you need to do here guys okay uh, uh, here you just hold the Wi-Fi button right here, which is the arrow down. Okay, that button here. Hold it down. Okay, keep holding. Wi-Fi will turn on. Okay, Wi-Fi is turning on. You have the password and uh, the Masigo A330D right here. We'll click that one. The password is one two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. We select. Okay. It's connecting now. It says connecting. Okay. Open the app to access dash camera. It says here recording stopped. That's normal. So I'm going to go to the app now. And uh, right here, it's establishing communication. It's connecting now. So it's connected, guys, now. Sometimes you have to uh, turn your uh, mobile data just for a second until you connect it. And here now under settings you have all the different features that you can adjust, resolutions, all that stuff, the G sensors, everything is here as well. You can go to uh, playback, you can see recordings, okay, you can record things and uh, you can see your videos here as well, okay, you can uh, select each each one of those guys, okay, while the camera is recording, you can playback, you can see, 
it tells you the speed on the bottom how fast you are going practically okay I'm trying to focus here on the phone screen give me a second we has the screen stamp date stamp uh, uh, that's the uh, coordinates so you can enter those and you can see them on Google Maps practically guys so that's really really uh, cool feature you actually have the three-step menu which allows you to access okay if you press that uh, button one time okay you're going to go to settings right okay twice you go to resolution video format okay uh, you actually can go to uh, uh, you will see you, you can go to the uh, different menus right here that's the factory settings you press it uh, twice three times you can go guys in the video event okay right here under video we can go ahead select this one okay and you can check the videos that are recorded on the camera guys okay right from the device you don't need to do anything else so this makes it super convenient you can even play okay the files right here you can do the playbacks okay and you can watch them uh, on your screen as well so you don't even need communication internet uh, you don't need even smartphone you can practically even use the camera only itself which makes it very convenient now let's go ahead and uh, do some recording on actual streets we're going to test it daytime nighttime and see how uh, how good the image is
so as you can see guys the camera is amazing the footage is amazing i liked it so much okay that's on my that's mustang that i actually purchased one for my bmw x4 that we just quit working if you want to see the installation and the review and how it performs on a bmw x4 even with a really slanted window on the back it performs amazing it's on our second youtube channel war on mechanics check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time